Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. Today's video, I wanna share some really cool things that I found at CVS. Um, actually, most of it's from CVS and the other one I bought at ShopRite. I bought the Nivea cream. It's a funny story about this cream. I have an aunt that used it for years. Like when I smell this, I think of my aunt, it smells amazing. And she always used it on herself and her kids. And her skin is like so perfect and smooth. Um, obviously genetics, but she swears by this. And I saw this making its rounds on TikTok, which totally blew my mind. And then my mom was another one that used this too, actually. And she had given me some a couple of years ago when she was in Europe. And like, I would use it here and there, but then I, then I stopped because then I started discovering more skincare. Anyways, I've been using this. Oh my God, it's amazing. Then the other things that I'm gonna talk about, which I've seen videos here and there um, in regards to this brand, but I, it definitely doesn't get the hype I think that it deserves. So that being said, I'm gonna talk about the brand. It's called Joa. It's from Kiss Beauty. It's a brand that's carried at CVS. This is like their K-Beauty inspired line and it's all made in Korea. It says here, designed in the US, made in Korea. So I was like, okay, cool, cool. So I had picked up two foundations. One was a little bit too dark. One was probably more of my summer color, um, winter color, so I'm gonna mix. The concealer, a TikTok made me buy it, was making its rounds on TikTok. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot. And for the hell of it, I bought the the spray mist or whatever. And I'm so not like a misting person, but the packaging really got me. Like, look how cute this is. The letters are like holographic, even on the foundation. So let's let's play with some makeup, and I'm excited to show you guys like what this looks like. So back to Nivea. I've been using this for about a week now. I don't know that I'll ever get through this tub. This is great for the face and the body. Now Nivea's cream has made like, it was a little, not controversial, but it does have, what does it have in it that everybody hates? It has mineral oil, petrolatum, glycerin. Uh, those are the main ones. But, and I was somebody that thought to myself, ah, you know, you shouldn't put that on your skin. It's gonna clog your pores. It hasn't clogged my pores. This is all from a bad reaction to something that I was using before. Um, I haven't had any issues with this. Now, I'm very dry, so my skin, when I put this on, like, really absorbs it in nice. And like I said, the smell is amazing. I'm going to actually take a little bit more. If you don't have dry skin... Um, you might feel like this is a little bit too much, but like I said, I'm pretty dry, even in the summer now, so dry. So I take it, I kind of put it on everywhere. I really like work it into the skin. I find that it's an amazing, like moisturizing product to put under makeup. I personally feel like if you're moisturized really good, your makeup will last long, but that's like, that's just my opinion. I know a lot of people swear by primers. I don't usually use primers because I don't know. I guess I just, I don't see the need in them unless they're like luminizing because I love a good glow. So that's the moisturizer. See how it just hydrates my skin. Have that natural like glow. So I have some in my hair. I need to get a good mirror in front of me because I can't see far away. All right. So after I've done that, you can take the mist. So cool. Um, it says you can shake, so, so shake well, close eyes and spritz six inches away from the face. Can use it before, after makeup. So I'm going to take this. It smells like roses. I don't know if that's an ingredient or whatever, but I think it smells amazing. All right. So I have two foundation shades here. I have PMN 010, which is kind of closer to my tan color. It might work on me now. And then I grabbed PLW60. So I'm going to swatch both of them for you. The 
This is the 60. And the M, what is it? M10. 60, M10. I know that's a huge difference in color. Um, this has more of a golden undertone. This one is very peachy. But when I wear a little bit of it, I'll explain how I use it during the week. Um, it works with my skin. I can't go too heavy with it because it's not my color right now. So I'm going to actually mix these two to kind of get like my perfect color. So that's it. Now this is the Primedation. It's a four in one. It's a primer, concealer. I think it's like illuminizer and a foundation. I don't know if I said that already. And I'm gonna start applying it to my face. As always, I start in the center of the face and I work my way out. See how the mixture of the two colors works for me? What I've been doing, especially when I go to work, is I'll do my rose ink and then I'll do a little bit of this. And I have the most gorgeous glow. I will post my selfie here that I took the other day at work. Um, and you're probably wondering, like, wait, why are you using that and not the Jones Road Foundation? I love the Jones Road Foundation. I just can't wear it for some reason. It's, it's breaking me out, like, here. Um, I don't know. It's just not agreeing with me at the moment. So I've kind of switched off to this. Plus, I've been obsessed with rose ink. I'll link that video here. So I'll take it and kind of just blend. Now I typically apply my makeup with my hands. That's I've always kind of done that. Look, I'm so red here. I was extracting before. So this foundation gives to the prettiest, prettiest glow. And it stays like that all day. That's Luna. She's playing with her toys. So the combination of the two shades is just perfect for my skin right now. See, it like it all matches. Then I'm gonna take the serum concealer. Like I said, this was making its ways on TikTok or its rounds on TikTok, and I was like just suckered in. So I was like, oh, let me try it. So I have shade LNO55. Let me just watch it. I don't know if you guys could see that. So it's a little bit lighter. It's, there goes my mirror. I gotta have a backup. All right, I'm gonna. It's nice, like yellow undertone, which I need when I'm putting stuff under my eyes or my face. So I'll kind of just dot that. Give it a few seconds. Maybe I'll do a wear test today. I'll do a wear test. I'm supposed to go to the gym today, so I never know how that's gonna hold up at the gym. For the most part, when I've done wear tests on them, like on just regular gym days, they do pretty well. So I'm just Happiness. I've been loving to use my Merit brush, which reminds me I really need to clean it. I'll take it. Once I'm done applying my foundation to my face, I'll just go over top like this. Just to make sure I don't miss any areas. Because I'm not going to lie, when you do your makeup with your fingers, there is a chance that sometimes you could miss a spot. So... Pretty, right but like this this glow is there all day obsessed all right so I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'm gonna come back and then we're definitely gonna do some check-ins today let me just make a note that it is 1252 right now so we're done applying foundation I try to come back with my makeup done um, yeah so see you guys in a bit All right, time for my final check-in. I did not do other check-ins. I just ended up having a crazy afternoon. So I'm just doing one final check-in. I have a ton of makeup on because today was a film day and I tried on different things that you guys will see soon. 
Um, so it is 10 o'clock. Let me see if I can. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, I think you guys can see that right here. 10. So I've had this on for nine hours. Let's see what's going on. Um, definitely really shiny, but it also could be the tremendous amount of highlighting blush that I have on right now. But I am shiny, like here, down the center of my nose, a little bit here and here. Now, it could be because I did use my Nivea cream to kind of uh, prep my skin with. So that could be that. But overall, I feel like my foundation, you know, it looks pretty good. It wore off just a teeny bit here. Well, I'm broken out. I did go to the gym today, though, so. But yeah, I like this foundation a lot. I've been using it for a couple of days now, at le like at least over a week. And I think it looks really nice. It gives me like a little extra full coverage. Like I said, I've been using it a lot with the Rose Ink Serum, and I just kind of like that combo. <laughs> so... I like it. Definitely give it a try. I think it's worth checking out. The formula is nice. It feels nice. And I like it. So if you have tried anything from Joa, let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you recommend if you have tried anything. And I will see you in my next one.